Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to click in 3D space and get all four. To get started, I simply have a static body for the floor and a camera that is rotated down to look at it. So we can go ahead now, create a new script. In here, get rid of the ready function. And let's create a new function called shoot ray. And in there, we'll create a new variable called mouse position. This will obviously be our mouse position. We'll get this by get viewport dot get mouse position. Next, we will set our ray length. So we'll do ray length and a good size to go with will be a thousand. And obviously you can mess around with that value. And now we need to set the position of where the ray starts and where it ends. So we'll call a variable from, this will be project ray origin. And we will pass in our mouse position that we got earlier. And we're shooting it to will be from plus project ray normal. We'll pass in that mouse position again. And we'll multiply that by our ray length. We also need to reference the space. So we will set a new variable called space. Set this to get world 3D dot direct space state to create the ray. We will create a variable called ray query. We'll set this to physics query, ray query parameters 3D dot new. We will set its from position to our from position that we created before. And same with the to position. So dot two gets two. And we will pass in the result to a variable called raycast result. Set the suit space dot intersect ray and pass in that ray query. And now we can go ahead and print out our raycast result. I've gone ahead and made a simple click action in my input map, which is connected to my left mouse button. So we can reference this by creating a new function, input event. We'll check if event dot is action press click, and then if so, we will shoot the ray. Now, if I press play, you'll see that if I click off to the side, since the ray is not colliding with anything, it will return a blank dictionary. However, if I click the ground, it will return this dictionary full of data. I've gone ahead and made a simple marker scene, which is just a sphere with a red color. And we can spawn this in by creating a variable called marker. We will reference this by preloading. And now in our shoot ray function, we will first check if not the raycast result dot is empty. So if there is no result, we want to not spawn in anything. However, if there is, we will create a new instance. We'll set this to marker dot instantiate. We'll set the markers, sorry, the instance dot position to the raycast result. And since this is a dictionary, we can simply reference the position and we'll reference the main node dot add child. And we will add in that instance. And now when we press play, if I click off to the side, nothing will happen. However, if I click the ground, it will spawn in that red sphere. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.